Hey, BirdTubers. How's it going tonight? Uh, this is Beer Fun Friday. I hope you guys are having a good night. I'm going to... I'm going to take some of my uh, Irish Stout. Actually, I'm sorry. I apologize. This is my Oatmeal Stout. go. It's my oatmeal stout. It's pretty good beer. I don't have a lot of updates tonight, but what I'm going to do is break out and uh, give you guys an update on my wine I just made give you guys an update on my cider so hang in there have a good beer fun Friday and watch my updates for a minute and then I'll be back with you all right well I got two updates here here's the wine I made yesterday the white wine Pinot Grigio I did a video on so you can see the uh, it's definitely bubbling in there not going crazy yet, but you know, it's been uh, just 24 hours. Let's see if we can get it going. It, it seems like it goes, uh, bubbles pretty good, and then it takes a break, and then bubbles pretty good. So, anyhow, the real reason I'm here is because here's my uh, dry hop cider. So you can see I have my siphon, and then down here I have my uh, hydrometer. So, I think we're going to take a little taste of this. If I can get this off. Alright. Hopefully I don't get too much of this hot junk. But This is the, uh, just kind of using up the rest of my Edo 4. I've got, just got some star sand that I'm going to start using. So... Go ahead and see if I can try not to get too much of this hopped stuff. Alright. Alright. Oops. I mean to put some back in there. figures. It is just my luck doing this stuff one-handed. <laughs> eh, hopefully you guys got a good kick out of that. Well, let's try this one more time. I just made a mess. Let's see if I can manage not to do it this time. You know what? To be safe, let me take a break and do this and I'll show you. Okay, here we go. I uh, went ahead and sprayed down the bottom of that pretty well again with my star sand, the sanitizing. I put it back on for now. But here we go with this. Let's see if this focuses. Eh, it's looking like we're still at about uh, maybe just a little before below 1.000 so hmm yeah it might see if I can just hang it here to focus it's dipping maybe just a little below the line I'll just call it point nine 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 just to be safe, but since I dry hopped it, you know, it really hasn't fermented anymore, so I think it's pretty much done fermenting. So it's right around ten point three seven, ten point three eight, somewhere in that percentage alcohol wise. So 
There's that. Again, I haven't decided what I'm doing with this yet. Uh, depending on how it tastes, if it tastes pretty good, I may just go ahead and bottle it. If it still needs to mellow out a little bit more, then maybe I will uh, rack it to a secondary for a while. You can definitely see there's uh, lots of floaties in this jar. You know, I'm sure that's just the hops and all that kind of debris. So I'm going to go ahead and sample this. I'm just not going to uh, take a big sip on it just because I don't, I don't want to pull in all that junk. Okay, I'm just going to apologize now. I Here I sat and did a speech for about two minutes, not realizing that my video wasn't running. So anyhow, you can see I sampled uh, half this. Um, I would definitely say uh, I could taste the hops a little bit. Um, it definitely cut down on the alcohol a little, so it tasted pretty good. Um, so I think what I decided was I'm probably going to take two cans of uh, frozen apple juice concentrate and uh, you know thaw those out, and then I'm going to siphon this into a bottle and prime it with those. And then I will go ahead and bottle this in some uh, couple one-gallon uh, iced tea containers I have. Um, I still have a whole bunch of 64-ounce uh, apple juice containers that I use to make this with. Um, if I have a gallon uh, glass jug growler laying around, I'll go ahead and use that as well. But I think I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot and see how it turns out. So I was pretty happy with the taste of it, so we'll see how this turns out. I'll go ahead and shoot video of it when I actually rack it into a bottling bucket, mix it in, and bottle it. So for now, that's the update for this, and this is going to be, uh, I think it was 10.37. Um, maybe it went down another .001, but it could just be the reading, so we'll just call it 1.000. So it went from 10.79 down to 1.000, which I believe was 10.37%. And I dry hopped it with 1%, uh, let me double check, 1, per, 1 ounce, I'm sorry, Centennial, 1 ounce Cascade. It's been in there for 9 days. I'll probably let it go for a couple more days and then do the racking just because I don't have the time and I don't have the apple juice right now to uh, mix it with. So that's the update on the cider, and that's the update on the wine, as you saw. So um, I'll definitely do a winemaking video part two um, in about a week or so, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the first one. You know, again, like on a lot of mine, the camera work isn't fantastic, and someday I will get a camera, and uh, we'll go from there. So that's the update on this so far. All right, I just want to say happy Beer Fun Friday. That was my update. I will get a video out to you guys soon about the winemaking. And again, you know, like I told you guys before, I bowl on Friday night. So I went from bowling to drinking a lot of beer. We went to a uh, local brewery around here where I had their... It's called um, Hoplust IPA, which is like uh, 70 IPAs, IBUs that is. As you can tell right now, <laughs> I'm, I've had a pretty good amount to drink tonight. That was a good beer. So, again, happy Beer Fun Friday. Hopefully next week I can give you guys a good wine update. And uh, again, you guys have a good night. Peace out to all you guys, and I will talk to you next week. Cheers. Have a good night. Bye.